Yo guys, what is up? Hope you guys are doing well, enjoying life, smashing your projects. Today is the day I asked you guys on IG what is in the mystery box. So last time I tricked you because last time I got a neutral bullet, which by the way, love that one. I should be a neutral bullet influencer, of course. All right, let's take a look. You guys said some hearts. Thanks, that's a good guess. Another couple of good guesses we have. The face with the two hearts. With the heart eyes, that's another guess. Another great guess. Okay, you guys said computer, MacBook, laptop, iMac, <laughs> air conditioner, something that I'm not going to say because I don't want to get demonetized, new lens, a gimbal, another lens. So if you said gimbal, boom, you were correct. We have a gimbal. We are going to take it out, give it a test and see how this baby works. Super excited. How you guys like that sound? I'm going to do another one here just for you guys. Wait, do you guys like the color of this light? Let's change it. I feel like it can be better. Big reveal. Muy emocionado. Here it is, guys. Here it is. It's like a very good size. It's really small, which is going to be sick for traveling. The time I have a shoot soon. Oh, man, I have to leave in like two minutes. Okay guys, so first check this one out. This one here was shot with the Canon R50. Insane entry level camera. I cannot believe the quality that came out of this. This here as well guys was with zero editing on this footage just straight out of camera. So this one is shot with the 35 millimeter F1.8 and this one is without the gimbal. Check this out. And now check this out. This one here is shot with this beautiful baby right here with the gimbal. Now check this one out. So one thing to note is that this camera is very light. So if you're wondering, is the gimbal gonna be fine with a heavier camera? I used it with my Canon EOS R. Take a look at these shots. So here are some more shots. I shot with one of my friends. She's a YouTuber as well. You probably know her. You've seen her on my channel if you guys are a subscriber already. So we're shooting some content at the moment. These were some shots that I got with her, which I love it. I'm, I'm in love with this gimbal, you guys. I'm gonna use it all the time. I'm in love with it, seriously. I would marry this gimbal like right now. This one is, these are some shots we did. And then these very special shots here too. I also shot this wedding video. Check this out, This here's some of the footage. And this couple was really cool because they got married in uh, just before Corona, I think after. But because of the situation, they never had any time to get any footage, they never even got any wedding photos or anything like that. So they hit me up, um, they're here from France and they wanted to get some, but take a look at this footage, it's just like perfect, perfect. So these were shot with a heavier setup with the Canon EOS R. And yes, I'm complete, I'm impressed 100%. What are you guys plans for the weekends? Well, it's the beginning of the week. Anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well. So take a look at this guys, there's this like quick release plate that you can attach to the camera as well. So this is super quick guys, this isn't like a tutorial. I'm just wanna, I wanna show you some settings. And right now I wanna speak about the vertical mode. I wanted this for reels, not just horizontal. Horizontal is great for client videos, but I basically wanted this gimbal for me to record some good reels. And as well, when I'm working with other models, you can have a look here, there are like locks on every axis. So we have one lock here, we have another lock here, and we have another lock here first. You need to balance it. You can unlock them all like this and then lock them again. But yes, like I said, guys, I am an amateur with gimbals. I haven't actually used one before. This was like the first time I was using one. Man, it is so hot here at the moment. I'm gonna unlock this one here so this can move. So you guys can see I just unlocked it here. And now I can slide this on and then this is locked in here. 
So here on the side, you have some these here that you can move or lock them and unlock them. So you guys have an idea. So this one here, I'm going to lock this. So now the camera isn't going to move. Basically, you need the camera to be steady and it needs to be straight. So when you go out and shoot, everything is centered. Now you just need to adjust it. So I'm going to move this one. This one here moves it to the side, which I'm going to do after. It's going to move this plate. So it's too far back now. It needs to be just center like that. Awesome. So now I'm going to lock, move it like this, make sure it's in the same place. Awesome. Yeah. Perfect. So now I'm gonna unlock and see you guys can see he's like look at him guys He's spinning around on an angle. No good. That's not what we want now We're now we're feeling good. So now like I said now we need to adjust the camera and move it this way Come here. We're gonna unlock this one and we're gonna move it over Now I'm gonna lock and make sure it's tight perfect and make sure the camera isn't moving and you guys can see now If I move it in any way, it's going back to which is really cool First things to actually do when you're on here, there is a menu button here on the side. I'm gonna click menu, click motor, and hit auto. It's just adjusting everything to make sure it's gonna be, it's perfect, the settings are right. He's not having a seizure, guys. He's, <laughs> he's not having a seizure, it's meant to do that. So the PF, I'm guessing that's like pan focus. Basically this one here is gonna be just like this. So now when you move the gimbal, it's just gonna follow the subject, which is really cool. And it is really stable as well. You can just move it around, Follow the gimbal, yeah, you can just move it around and then it's just gonna like follow the whole way which is super cool No matter which way you move it. The one that I really wanted was vertical mode So now if you double press this you get POV Then if you do it again, you get a vortex But this is the one that I wanted guys. This one is gonna be portrait So this is now you can see the camera is facing up like this I have actually ordered another plate a vertical plate because the only thing is when you are shooting in portrait mode The only way you can keep it like this is if you're like that because the minute you If you want to hold it like this then the camera is gonna move up again Can you guys see that? So that's the problem because if you want to be chill and just hold it like this it would be easier instead of Moving it like this all the time. I'm gonna try and take some videos like this for IG for reels and see for this camera here, it's not too bad, or if you work out, not too bad, but you guys can see it's like a little workout here. So I'm gonna see with the vertical plate, I think with the vertical plate, it's gonna be better because it's gonna be here on the side. Then I can have the camera in a different angle, which is gonna be super cool. But you guys, 100%, I am so happy with this. I'm super excited to shoot some content with this because well, the videos look amazing as you guys have seen already. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the like, consider subscribing. Check me out on IG because I have, I'm gonna be uploading all of this content here. Love you guys, stay creative, keep doing you, and yeah, be happy. I will see you guys in the next video. Hasta luego.